everybody, welcome back to Centipede Woods. We are in our regular filming spot and it's snowing. What better way to celebrate the holiday? But the weather is getting cold and I'm freezing, so we have to move inside. Let's go. video, the major scale contains seven notes forming a pattern that generates the entire key by repetition to the left and to the right. Once degree number one is chosen, the remaining degrees in the pattern are determined by the following sequences of sizes for the consecutive intervals, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, and 1. Degree number one is called the tonic, and it must be the note of G in the key of G major. The other notes in the scale then are A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp. Note that F sharp and G flat represent the same note. Nevertheless, we don't use the name of G flat 
but only the name of F sharp. The reason is that we want the notes in the scale to have distinct letters so they can be placed on the distinct spaces or lines in the musical staff. G flat cannot be used because we already used the letter G to denote the tonic of the scale. I will use the arrow's best pattern or MP on the G string to play the diatonic modes. For playing scales, it is better to use the next year's neighbor version of the pattern. In the key of G major, the open string must be degree number one. And we start with the far treble arrow. The arrow carries degree six, seven, one. In our case, the arrow is incomplete because it is missing degrees number six and seven. So we play the very tip. If you want to learn how to play by ear, it is important that you go back to my previous video on the air's mask pattern and memorize the degrees on the arrows and the mask. I will often refer to the arrows by the scale degrees residing on them. So we play degree one of the six seven one arrow and then jump a major second to play the two three four arrow. <laughs> which is also the near treble, and then we jump another make it or second to, to go to the mass, which is five six, and then we jump another major second to the sub one it, two arrow, and we only play sub one because um, then that gives us an octave. Let's play it one more time. <laughs> We have to play uh, two octaves, right? So we're going to try to play it on one string. I cannot play the six, seven, one arrow because I don't have enough room. You can play um, the entire two octaves on a 24 fret guitar, but mine is only 20 frets. Now, there is a way that we can play two octaves. We can cross strings. So let's play up to the mask. The next arrow is 712. We can play it on the same string, two semitones up. Or we can play it on the, net, on the B string, two semitones up. But how do we do it? Well, to do that, we'll have to remember the major second offsets. The rule for the offsets is all pairs of strings except G and B have the offset of three frets. And the pair of strings G and B have the offset of two frets. Okay, so this is the pair of strings G and B. So we'll have to do the two fret offset. One, two. <laughs> compare this sub one two and again this sub one two. They sound the same, right? The next arrow is the three four five arrow. Again we can play it two semitones on the same string or two semitones on the next string. Let's play it on the same string first. Now let's apply the major second offset to get it on the next string. Now these are the strings B and E. So the offset is three. One, two, three. Now we'll continue to get the two octaves. And the next arrow after three, four, five is six, seven, one. And now we have completed two octaves. Let's now play the entire two octaves. Ready? And backwards. The Ionian mode is a heptatonic scale that starts on degree number one. There are other seven note scales that generate the same key by repetition. Let's paint the seven consecutive notes starting with degree number two in the same color. We obtain a different pattern that by repetition forms the same key. This seven note pattern starts on degree number two and is called the Dorian scale.
It has its own sequence of interval increments, which is obtained from the Ionian sequence by performing a circular shift. By circular shift, we mean that the interval at the head of the sequence is moved to the tail of the sequence. The sequence of increments for the Dorian mode is 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2. The notes of the Dorian scale are also obtained by circularly shifting the notes of the Ionian scale. In the key of G major, we obtain the notes. A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. This particular scale is called the A Dorian scale. In ascending order, it sounds like this. In descending order, the A Dorian scale sounds like this. An Ionian scale and a Dorian scale are called modes of each other if they generate the same key by repetition. Thus, the G Ionian scale and the A Dorian scale are modes of each other. Indeed, the notes of the key, the big circles in our display, did not change their location as we move from G Ionian to A Dorian. They only changed their color. Pay attention! The scales of G Ionian and G Dorian are not modes of each other. The G Dorian generates an entirely different key by repetition, the key of F major. Applying the circular shift one more time produces the Phrygian mode. To be more precise, the scale of B Phrygian is more of the G major scale because it generates the same key by repetition. In ascending order, B Phrygian sounds like this. <laughs> In descending order, it sounds like this. The fourth mode is called Lydian. In ascending order, C Lydian sounds like this. In descending order, it sounds like this. The fifth mode of the major scale is called Mixolydian. In ascending order, D Mixolydian sounds like this. In descending order, it is... One more shift gets us to the very important Aeolian mode. This mode is also known as the natural minor scale. It is very widespread in Western music, perhaps even more than the natural major scale. It starts on the green number 6 of the major scale, which is located 3 semitones before the closest major scale tonic on the right. When they generate the same key, the natural minor and natural major scales are said to be relative to each other. To exemplify using the key of G, we have that E in natural minor, or Aeolian, is relative of G major, or G Ionian. In ascending order, Aeolian sounds like this. In descending order, it is... The last mode and the least used is Locrian. In ascending order, it sounds like this. In descending order, it is... One more circular shift gets us back to the Ionian mode, and the process repeats by octave equivalence. Scarbo Fair is in the key of A Dorian, which shares the same notes with the key of G major. These notes are all natural except for the note of F, which is made sharp in the key signature present at the beginning of each system. If we use the name of G flat instead of F sharp, there would be no advantage in using key signatures. G and G flat will live on the same space or line in the staff, and accidentals would be needed even for songs written entirely in G major. 
To enable the use of key signatures, the letters in the note names must be different. The lyrics I wrote for the song must become a guitar player's favorite substitute for actual lyrics. They are the scale degrees in the so-called movable one six or movable do la system. This is the system we have developed in the section on modes. Movable means that all names are based on the distance to the closest major scale tonic on the left. One six or do la means that the tonic of the major scale is named one or do, and the tonic of the natural minor scale is named six or la. It is implied that the tonics of the other modes are as discussed in the section on modes. For example, the Dorian scale starts on two or re. In the movable one six system, the degrees of the modes are always natural numbers for our songs, written entirely in the key. To avoid any confusion, I would like to point out that the pitches are marked on the score one octave higher than the pitches we will actually play. This is a convention among guitar players. For example, the first note is marked as A four. It can be played on the high E string on the fifth fret, right here. This is the pitch we will actually play. A three. It can be played on the G string at the second fret. With the help of the Ares Mass pattern, we can play Scarborough Fair on the G string only. When playing songs, it is better to use the full AMP and not just the next nearest neighbor version. The reason for this is that the full AMP gives you freedom. That is more than one way to play a note. For example, this degree five. Can be played as part of the max using the index finger, or as part of the three, four, five pair using the pinky. Which way do we use? Well, if the next note is higher in pitch than degree five, then it is better to play degree five as part of the max because you would be moving your hands this way anyway. If the next note is lower, then play five as part of the three, four, five pair. Two, two, six, six. Like in this part of the song. Well, I 
wish you all luck on finding the next arrows. So far, we have claimed that the G Ionian and A Dorian are the same keys. It is true that they are made up of the exactly the same notes. If all notes are equally important, we call the key atonal, which means without a preferred tone. Atonal, A Dorian, and G Ionian are the same. Nevertheless, the word key additionally implies that one of the degrees is more important in a song than the others. A lot of Western music is written in a particular key that is made up of phrases that often returns to the preferred note called the tonic. If that tonic is degree number one, then we say the music is written in an Ionian key. If the tonic is degree number two, it is written in a Dorian key. And so on for the other degrees. Each repetitive unit of Scarborough Fair ends on a power chord made of degrees two, six, and two. The root of the chord is degree two and establishes the central tone of the piece. The song is therefore an A Dorian and not G Ionian or B Phrygian for that matter. I end this lesson here. If you look back at my first Scarborough Fair solo, the one with the distortion of flanger on, you'll see that I kept my hands in the same position and played across the strings. Quite different from playing on a single string. There are five different positions that can be used to play the notes of his key. There is one position for each letter of the word caged. I will present these positions in my next video, so be sure to come back. Bye!